But speaking of Saban Lee, dude, what are your thoughts on him? You think he's on this team next year or like, I mean, what are your thoughts on him? I think he'll be on the team, but I don't think he'll get a lot of playing time. I think he's just going to be an emergency option um, because he's still under contract with the Pistons. I think you're probably going to see him a lot in the G League. Um, I just don't really see uh, where he's going to be playing because you have a lot of guards on this team. I mean, you got Cade, um, you got Ivy. I mean, even Ivy can play some point guards. You got Killian, you got Corey Joseph and Saban Lee. Um, I mean, he's expendable, but I mean, he's been getting a lot of hate on Twitter. Are you more of like picking him on the roster because you personally like him, or do you think he's that good of a basketball player and he could, you know, help this team win in some way, even if he's not playing big minutes? I think he's just a body, honestly. Like, I'm not that invested in Saban Lee like some people. I'm not that, I'm not that deep on Twitter where I'm like a Saban Lee stan. Um, but I think he does provide – you know, a body in practice um, in case there's an injury. Um, you know, it's, his shot is still a work in progress, obviously. I mean, it, just this whole jump shot, it's just I know a lot of people cringe when he shoots. I think defensively he's a really good guard, but I, I think he's just going to be kind of like an Ish Smith type of player in the NBA where he's just going to play for a lot of teams. You know, I was going to actually text you about his shot. It actually looked a little better, but there is still, like, a little bit of a hitch in it. Like, he hasn't figured that part out yet. But yeah. his shot did look a lot better than it did even last season. Like, just in a couple of uh, just a couple of months, his shot, I believe, has changed, and I think it looks a little better. But it doesn't fall like it should. Me, personally, though, I am a fan of Saban Lee. I think he's a pretty good player. Um, I mean, <laughs> let me just take that back. Like, in terms of NBA talent, he's all right. Like, I think he's going to be a journeyman, too. I think the athletic ability – you know, that um, that's always going to that, – that speed and stuff, that's always going to be needed by a team. But I think he ultimately is cut by the Detroit Pistons. Just because, like what you were saying, he's expendable. We have so many guards on this team. Cade, Ivy, Corey Joseph, Killian Hayes, Alec Burks. You know, Alec Burks, I mean, he could even play a little bit of point guard. Like, yeah. he did it for New York. And then we saw in Summer League Game 2, Isaiah Livers bringing the ball up a few times. We even saw Braxton Key bring the ball up a few times. That is why I think Saban Lee is expendable because there's so many guys on this team that have ball – that can actually bring the ball up and have ball handling – that have a respectable dribble package where you don't really need a, a six-foot-two guard that can't finish or can't shoot. So I think Saban Lee is ultimately cut from this team. 